Hello learners. Now let us see how to show that cos a by two plus cos a by two minus cos a by two is equal to this. Uh, if it is given that a plus b plus c is equal to pi. My sincere suggestion: please start from the RHS. Okay, it's kind of easy for this sort of questions to start with RHS. So I'm going to take my RHS. Okay. So before that, just the given condition a plus b plus c is equal to pi. I'm going to mark it as one because I'm going to use it at a later stage. Now. This my RHS. You can see on the top of this uh, top of uh, each slide. Okay, the question is presented like this so that you can refer to it at any point of time. Now here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write this four as two into two, and I'm gonna group these three things: two cos pi plus a by four, cos pi plus b by four into, and then this is this is one group, and after that there's cos pi minus b by four. Now this is of the form two cos a cos b. Okay, what is two cos a cos b? 2 cos a cos b is cos of a plus b plus cos a minus b. Okay, cos of a plus b plus cos a minus b. In place of a and b here, I have pi plus a by 4 and uh, pi plus b by 4. So that's why you can see when I'll apply this formula in place of a and b, I have pi plus a by 4 and pi plus b by 4. Now that's one thing. Now if you'll see, uh, the denominator is common for these two terms, like pi plus a by 4 and pi plus b by 4. So it would be nothing but 2 pi plus of a plus b by 4, which you would see in the upcoming slide. And here there would be this minus would get multiplied to both the terms. Be careful. So minus pi minus b. So you can see it. This is what I have as I mentioned. Now pi and minus pi would get cancelled. So here I'd be left out with cos a minus b by 4. And here I'm going to split this 4 to both the terms. Okay, I'm going to split this 4 to both the terms. So it would be 2 pi by 4 plus a plus b by 4. So which would be nothing but pi by 2 plus a plus b by 4. And here as I mentioned it's a minus b by 4. Next, what is cos pi by 2 plus theta? It is minus sine theta. So this would be minus sine a plus b by 4 plus cos a minus b by 4. And this is that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this 2 to these two terms. And I'm also going to multiply this cos pi minus c by 4 to these two terms. So ultimately I'd be ending, I'd be getting this minus 2 sine a plus b by 4 cos pi minus c by 4 and plus 2 cos a minus b by 4 cos pi minus c by 4. As you can see cos pi minus c by 4 is there with uh, these two terms. And uh, there is two at uh, with these two. Things, fine. Now, if you'll observe, this is of the form two sine a cos b. This is of the form two sine a cos b. What's two sine a cos b? Sine of a plus b plus sine a minus b. And this is of the form again two cos a cos b, which is nothing but cos of a plus b plus cos a minus b. So this is what you would see in the next screen. If I were to apply the first formula, as I mentioned, so hence I'd get. Okay, I'll just show it to you to be better instead of speaking. Now see. This would be nothing but in place of a and b, I have a plus b by 4 and pi minus c by 4. Okay, here you can observe in the first uh, term in place of uh, a and b, I have a plus b by 4 and pi minus c by 4. And in the second term, in place of a and b, I have a minus b by 4 and pi minus c by 4. Next, okay, I'll explain it. I'll explain it a bit more here. Now, see, as I mentioned, uh, you know, you can see the format as it is given. Fine. And again, once again, uh, please don't forget to mention reasons like this. It will, it they carry marks. Uh, examiner will definitely look for them, especially uh, since this is an uh, LAQ long answer question, which stands for seven marks in uh, Telangana board exam. Now, now once we are done with this, now if you'll observe here again, the denominators are same, like in all the brackets. So this would be a plus b plus pi minus c. Here you would get this minus would get multiplied to both the terms, so minus pi plus c. And here, like just, you know, just add them, bring them together. And here, a minus b, here again, the minus, you can multiply minus pi plus c. So ultimately, I'd be getting this, okay? Now, just one thing, if you'll observe in the next step, what I got is in place of a plus b, I got pi minus c. How? If you remember, I told you, right, a plus b plus c is equal to pi. So a plus b, I can write it as pi minus c, okay? Now, let's see, these two are matching. These two are matching. And here, as I mentioned, minus pi plus c. So C, I brought it here, like C, I brought it in the, like, just interchange, it could be minus pi plus C, just I brought it here. Now, here, if you'll observe, A, A plus pi minus of B plus C, what I did is, I grouped the positive terms one side and the negative terms another side. So minus B minus C, I wrote it as minus of B plus C. Next, again, the same thing I did here also, I have A plus C minus pi minus B, okay, A plus C minus pi minus b. So if you observe in these two terms, I group like positive and negative terms. Grouped in the sense I brought them to one side so that, you know, I can apply some 
some form so the same equation which i can use like a plus b plus c is equal to pi now next this would be nothing but 2 times pi minus c by 4 okay pi minus c by 4 plus pi minus c by 4 is nothing but 2 times pi minus c by 4 and here if you'll observe a plus b plus c is nothing but pi so this would be minus side pi minus pi by 4. here you can see it and next in place of b plus c, what can I write b plus c as? b plus c I can write it as pi minus a. Because a plus b plus c is pi. So b plus c I can write it as pi minus a. Okay. How can I write a plus c? Pi minus b. So this I can write it as pi minus b. So that's what you will see here. And from 1. Again, as I mentioned, I, I, said, I told that I would be using uh, a plus b plus c is equal to pi. I mentioned it here. Okay. If you just give this reference, this would, uh, you know, tell the examiner that, okay, you are using... Uh, the first condition, okay, which you mark, I mean, the condition which you marked as 1. Now, pi minus pi is 0, so it would be minus sign 0. Uh, 2 ones are 2, 2s are. And next, this would be pi minus c by 2. This would be pi minus c by 2. So, it would be pi, I'm going to split the denominator to both, uh, both the terms, so I'd get pi by 2 minus c by 2, okay, pi by 2 minus c by 2. Next, uh, here, what I would get is minus pi plus a, and here, Already, as you can see, pi and minus pi would get cancelled. Minus 2b by 4, I'd be getting. Okay. And minus, uh, here, okay, I guess I skipped it. Okay, see. Uh, pi minus a is nothing but 0. And minus of minus a is plus a. So, a plus a is 2a. That, this is what, uh, you know, I kept it here. And as I told you, minus 2b by 4. And as I mentioned in the beginning also, pi by 2 minus c by 2. And minus sine 0. Sine 0 is 0. You guys know it. What is uh, sine pi by 2 minus c by 2? It is cos c by 2. So here I have minus cos c by 2 plus here 2 ones are 2 twos are and then 2 ones are 2 twos are cos of minus b by 2 and cos of minus theta is cos theta. So hence I have cos b by 2 here. Just rearrange it, bring this minus cos c by 2 to the end. That's it. We are done. Not just this question I made, many more questions related to trigonometry. You can find the link for the playlist in the description. Okay, you can check it. Please definitely check it out. Not just that, if you like this video, please hit that like button. It will encourage me to make many more of this video, of videos like this. And if this is your first time coming across to my channel, please do subscribe to it. Thank you.